Many people fail the product management interview. It is not because they don't know how to answer the product design, product case, product metrics interview question. The surprising truth is that they don't know how to talk about the past experience and passing the behavioral interview questions and those product management lifecycle knowledge questions. And it turned out to become a waste opportunities because they spend lots of time to figure out how to land a job interview, but they are not prepared to sell themselves and tell the story in a much more confident and short and concise way. In this video, I'm going to talk about the top 10 hardest but most common product management into behavioral questions and give you the sample answers and frameworks so that you know how to nail those interview questions anytime you present amazing opportunities. Specifically, I will discuss the situational interview questions, product management knowledge and skills questions, and what, how, and why questions. Make sure to stay until the end of the video where I share with you the shortest and most concise framework that can nail 90% of those interview answers. Hey guys, this is Dr. Nancy Lee, a director product featured in Forbes. I've helped thousands of people land the dream PM job offer in fan companies and unicorn startups and continue to get promoted as a product leader. In this channel, we talk about tech trends and free product management training. Like and subscribe and watch my new video every Tuesday. The 40 10 question I'm going to share with you has been used in all different kinds of industries and different sizes of companies, including big tech, unicorn startup, crypto, AI, fintech, e-commerce, social media. Make sure to take lots of notes and start to sell your own story. The first type of behavioral question is situational based question. For example, question number one, tell me a time when you reposition a product. Question number two, tell me a time you had a conflict with engineers. Question number three, tell me a time that you tell your customers that they were wrong. Question number four, tell me a time that you have to tell your boss that he or she is wrong. Even if all those situational questions sounds very simple, it just tells a story, but what they're looking for is the unique challenges product manager have been facing. For example, the question number three is Amazon's 14 principal interview questions regarding customer empathy. You have to tell your customers they were wrong and understand what they're looking for. The question number four is also meta leadership principle questions because you need to challenge your boss. Sometimes when he's wrong, you know how to stand up and pick the right battle. They also would love to ask many follow-up deep dive questions to make sure that you are truly the person who has done the work and also solve those challenges. There are three steps to answer those challenging behavioral interview questions. Step number one is understand the intention behind those questions. For example, the question number one, repositioning a product. What they want to hear is, what's the before of the product, what's after? How would you reposition it? Was a new product positioning and was an old product positioning? You could reposition product by changing the customer segmentation. You could also reposition a product by changing the go-to-market strategy. As long as it has been very obvious that you reposition a product from someone that doesn't work into a new, brand new product leading to greater success. Step number two is to pick the right story and impress them using the grail framework. I personally invented this holy grail framework. Here is how to use it. GRIL stands for G, get to the point. R stands for reason and why. A stands for actions. I stands for impact. L stands for learning. Use question number two as an example. Tell me a time when a conflict with an engineer. You need to get started by get to the point, that G part of the framework. Who did you have a conflict with immediately within one sentence? Our part of framework is let people know why this conflict you had with engineer is so important that the audience need to pay close attention to. And A is the three actions you took to solve this challenge. And I is the important impact you had by solving the challenge with the engineering team. L stands for the learning you took away from solving this complicated situation. I filmed a separate video about the step-by-step -step guide with sample answer to this grill framework so that you know what's the best methodology to apply the framework while the interviewer. You can check out this video right here. I'm also going to put it in the description of this video regarding tell me a time when you failed using the grill framework. The third step of answering the behavior interview question is to hit the keywords and skills they want to hear. For example, in your answers, you can mention customer segmentation. They also love to hear some go-to-market strategy if you're looking for those senior or director type of jobs. They also love to hear you understand the customer needs and pain point and desire to put customers first. The second type of product management interview question is, 
Part management skills assessment questions. For example, question number five: Tell me a time when you turn a product from concept to execution. Question number six: How do you prioritize product features? Question number seven: What's your favorite product? The answer to this kind of product management skills assessment question is very different based on what kind of skills they want to test out. For example, turning a product from concept to execution, you need to understand the three phases of launching a product: ideation, MVP, and product launch. I have step-by-step -step training teaching you how to use the three phases product launch framework to answer this question from launching a product from concept to execution. You can check out this video right here. I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. How you prioritize product features needs to talk about your prioritization framework and criteria. For example, impact, urgency, engineering effort, and the alignment with the mission of the companies, and how it's impacting the rest of the portfolio or product altogether. What's your favorite product? Sounds a very fun question. Sounds very easy to answer. You can pick any product your favorite. You can pick any product to talk about. But in reality, there's a specific framework and methodology to answer this question. What's your favorite product? The way to talk about it is talk about the type of product you truly like, and then bring down into customer segmentation. And tell them what type of customer segmentation yourself belong to, and tell them the three pain points this perfect product is solving, and then tell them why other product in the industry cannot solve any of those pain points except your favorite product. I filmed a separate video to walk through the framework of answering what's your favorite product uh, with the sample answers. You can check out this video right here and I'm also going to link it in the description of this video. The secret of answering those kind of product management skills interview questions is actually mastering the product management knowledge and skills before you go into any product management interview. And also reflect in your past experience how much you've done in the past is using product management methodology. And there's no right or wrong answer to build your past product, but there's only one specific answer that hiring managers want to hear because they have their own internal process to build a product. The secret to answer this kind of product management skills assessment interview questions is actually to master the product management and to life cycle skills. And then once you understand the skills, it's way easier for you to describe your past experience and what kind of product management methodology you use to launch your own product, everything will become much smoother and easier when you talk about the right methodology of building a product. If you never had the systematic product management training in the past, I highly recommend all of you guys to download the ultimate guides to product management roles and responsibilities, which I give you all the detailed descriptions of end-to-end -end product management lifecycle skills and what do they do as a product manager so you can start learning right away. I'm going to link it in the description of this video. The third type of product management interview question is what and how and why questions. For example, question number eight, how do you manage stress? Question number nine, why do you want to become a product manager? Question number 10, what's your strengths and weakness? The secret to answer these kind of interview questions is use a three by two framework, which is the bonus I discussed with you guys. Using this framework, you're able to answer majority of those what and how and why questions only with six sentences make it short and concise and very sharp and impressive. So what is three by two framework? It's very simple. It means each question you should answer with three bullet points and each bullet point has two sentences. And these two sentences should begin with a summary sentence and followed by a supporting point why your summary is the right answer to the question. For example, why do you want to become a product manager? You can talk about the three reasons why. It could be you love solving problems using technology features. It's a perfect combination between technology and engineering. And it's a leadership role. Within those three bullet points, you can have a longer sentence describe why do you think product management is a leadership role and why you are specifically interested in those kind of leadership role as a product manager. Within the three by two framework, it can easily have your answer very organized and make it short and concise. I have a sample answer to why you want to become product manager in this video training right here. Feel free to use the exact same script I use in my answer. It's going to impress the hiring manager. 
I'm also going to link the video in the description of this video. As you're preparing for the product management interview, it's quite critical you know the end-to-end -end product management life cycle so you can get ready for those skill set assessment and make sure to download this ultimate guide to product management roles and responsibilities in the description of this video. I also have the full playlist right here to describe the product management interview questions and sample answers with all possible different kind of interview questions you're going to face in the upcoming interviews. So therefore, make sure to go to this playlist and continue to study uh, today. This is Dr. Nancy Lee from PMXerator.io. Make sure to like and subscribe and comment. I'm going to see you in my next video right here.